All right, I think we're live. I'm going to go check it. We've had some technical. We're a little late due to technical issues. Um, I take all the blame. I didn't do enough explaining. I wasn't prepared. Uh, but it's okay. I think we're going to be all right now. Let's see how what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Alchemy Med Spa, <clears throat> excuse me, Optimize You, Granite Garage Floors of Chattanooga, The Barn Nursery, The Vascular Institute in Vane Clinic, and then Chattanooga Concrete. I know every single one of those people. I've done business with this, those people, and they are fantastic folk. You should trust them with your hard-earned dollars. Now, with that being said, I'm going to bring my guest up. I want to remind everybody, though, that you can always support the podcast on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com forward slash during the break podcast, five bucks, 20 bucks, $1,000 a month, whatever you want to give me. Give us, me, Jeff Styles, all my guests help support it and keep us growing. We're about to move more video components. I'm going to hide that and remove it right now. I'm going to bring the guest up. Now, let me pull this on the screen. We're doing some fancy stuff tonight. Look at this. Fun date ideas. Now, I do want to be clear, though. The article, and I'm going to go post it real quick over here so people can play along. But the article, to be honest, says 50. It's fun dates, but I think it's for under 50 bucks. I'm going to I'm going to challenge some of those ideas in this uh, in this podcast. I'm going to challenge a few of those. I don't think you can do some of these for under 50 bucks, but that's just me. Let's bring up Chris Kay. She's the professional. Three, two, one. What's up, Chris Kay? How are you tonight? Oh, I can't hear you now. There you go. And your sound's gone. Just like that. Uh, did you try something out? This is exactly what happened beforehand. We were just talking. And now she's going to have to click off. I'm going to have to refresh it. God, I love this. All right. Hold on. Talk for me, Carissa. <laughs> All right, everybody stay tuned. Hold on. I'm going to reload. Oh, oh, oh. Frustrated over here. I hear you. Break. I hear you. I hear you. I can hear you. Sweet baby Jesus. We we're going to talk about fun dates if it's the last thing we freaking do. Of all the podcast, Right? This like, is one the most, supposed yeah. to be the most fun. All right. Well, we are determined to make it fun. Everybody smile. And damn it, we're having fun on this podcast. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> damn, it's I fun. feel like a dad getting her kids ready for church. And get in the car and be grateful. <laughs> We're going to go bless people today, it. We're going to love each other and bond. I have fun yeah. bonding, all right. All right. I swear. Hey, I uh, real quick, let's give you a shout out. Uh, two things. First of hey. all, before we jump in this, and we're going to talk about how this works. You just run another podcast that's getting ready to come out. You're becoming mm -hmm. kind of a podcast guest, like professional. Yeah. Well, it's easy when you talk about sex. And right? marriage and relationships, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that stuff too. Sorry. Yeah. And and, yeah. and God <laughs> came up in that conversation. You talked about the Christian you, faith. Too. We sure did. Yeah. That's it's amazing. Good. It actually it's all connected. It is. Um, mm -hmm. I found this article. I've posted it in the comments if people mm -hmm. want to read it. It's 52 fun date ideas. I think it says under 50 bucks. I'm gonna go double check that. It if does. It do yeah, that's that's I, that's bunk on some of these. I call bunk. Um, I don't know where you're going to go do some of these for under $50. But with that being said, here's how it's going to work. We've picked out our favorite five and our least favorite five, but there's a 100% guarantee that we're going to talk about more than just five because we're, there's some of these are pretty bad. Yeah, and it's going to be – this is kind of selfishly fun because it's like match to match. Like, are Clint and Chris going to have similar preferences? Are we going to like – Am I going to hate what you love? Are you going to love what I hate? This is yeah, going to be. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, this is going to be good. Okay, can you this? Let's back up just for a second, though, because yeah. a good date to me can be a lot of different things. Though some of, I mean, I can already tell you now. One of the best dates I've been on, um, and and all this, all, most of my references will be post divorce, uh, older, but was just simply like long conversations that went to two or three o'clock in the morning. One of the best first dates I ever went on was a great dinner, and then, hey, do you want to go get drinks? And then we, the drinks ended, that place closed, and we went someplace else. It was 2 o'clock in the morning, and we were just talking. There was nothing. We didn't, like, plan anything like that. That was probably one of the best first dates, and I ended up going out with her for quite a while. That that nice. was a great first date, right? I mean, sure. A, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, we didn't have, <laughs> yeah. we didn't have, yeah. we didn't have any of these things. Okay. Any. Well, sometimes when the chemistry is there, you don't need all of the extra. Yeah. All right. Do you want to start you know with I mean? least? You want to start with favorites or least favorites? 
Ooh, I wish we could ask the audience. Does the audience have a preference? I don't think they have a preference. There's a, there's about eight or ten watch, ten watching right now. If they have a preference, they can chime in. I if yeah. not, we I don't want to just sit here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, why well, don't we do? Okay. Oh, go ahead. Nothing. I, okay, the audience doesn't get to speak. Yeah, just sure. A, we'll just sit okay. here in silence. <laughs> okay. Let's start with good. What do you want to start with? I think we should do this. Um, I think we should start with our uh, favorite. Let's start with one of our favorites. We'll go back and forth. Okay. I have, I picked out 10 favorites and 10 least favorites, but I've circled oh, my top five. I've, I've okay. circled my top five. Okay. All right. Your ladies, ladies first. What's your, oh. what's your, one of your favorite dates? Oh, well, as I was reading through these options, I realized this is completely all about personal. Pro okay. Deborah. Favorites. Paul, so there we go. Who is okay. that your, who's that? That's who's, my mom. Hi, mom. Yeah. Hi, Deborah. Um, I, this is complete personal preference, like complete. So yeah. there's a total bias to all this. Um, and then I started, Ashton Morrison is watching as well. How are you doing? Cool. Ashton? Okay. Ash, Ashton. Ashton. Sorry. Ashton. Jeez. Um, uh, I, the first one I chose was checking out the local zoo or aquarium. <laughs> what? Okay. You hate okay. that idea? I don't hate it. No. Let me tell you why. Okay. Because one, I'm a science nerd. So again, okay. this is personal preference. You're walking. Mm -hmm. There's distraction. There's usually, unless you're a total dud and don't like animals and biology uh, and life, you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you hate life, you probably don't like, like this today. Yeah. There's room to like, kind of like bob and weave. Bob and okay. weave. So it's like you come together, you observe, and it's like, hey, check this out over here. And then you kind of get a feel for like what the person's into or what the person tends to notice. You have to like navigate the public mm -hmm. right like so excuse me strangers so you're watching like how people like navigate Interact. through crowds mm -hmm. and social settings and if they're rude or if they're polite if they're oh, waiting wow. on you if they're waiting on you if they're mm -hmm. impatient and leave you you're like bye so we didn't specify if this is like first date or just that's what i put down some of these are better first dates i think yeah. what you're talking about is a great first or second date option yes. i would agree with you for those exact same reasons some of these are married. I even took it if you're in a serious relationship mm -hmm. or married, how they would even be worse. I mean, like there's some of them they put on there and I'm like, I would not do that ever. Uh, yes. I mean, even yeah. if, if God was wrapping <laughs> us in the holy twine, I would never do some of those dates. Fantastic. Um, I like those. I like that one. All right. So I'll give Your you one turn. of mine. Okay. One of my favorites. Again, it's, some of these are weather dependent because I'm not doing much in the 95 degree weather period. But mm -hmm. for a lot of the same reasons you picked, mini golf. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me about this. Okay, well, <laughs> for the same reason. First of all, I don't, I'm not talking. I'd rather not do the big clown crap. I like mini golf where there's some challenge, a little competitive nature. Yeah, there, it's like a real like a little green. But mm -hmm. for the same reason, you've got something you can get distracted by, right? You could walk. There's a start and an end, so it can't go on forever. Like, let's go look at the birds. Oh, shit. I just want to go home. I'm tired of the date. I don't want to go look at the lizards if I'm at the zoo. <coughs> but, okay. Wow. But I've got 18 holes. At 18 holes, we sarinara and part off. We Then we go, hey, do you want to go grab some drinks? Do you want to go to a movie? Do you want to go to dinner? Do you like yeah. the da-da? Do you want to go walk on the bridge? I like the mini golf because again, I have other things that we can talk about along the course of the, the thing. Does that make sense? I hear you. You threw up in your mouth a little bit on it though. Well, I think I actually tried to avoid all com competition because, oh, gonna, if I'm, mm, because mm. I personally am so competitive that mm -hmm. I would like, I would not be relational. I'd end up seeming like such a selfish jerk because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just all about winning. Me too. That's the other thing. I want to see how you take getting your ass whipped. That's what I want to do. I want to, but it wouldn't. And then you'd feel emasculated and then you would never want to talk. To I, I got to be honest. Be like, I'm sorry. I make you feel little uh, at my age. Mm -hmm. If the, the, whoever's going to try to emasculate me has missed <laughs> their opportunity. <laughs> that, is, that, 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 that ship has sailed. I love a challenge. Yeah, well, so. <laughs> that sounds like a guinea mini golf game. It is. <laughs> we'll do our next podcast from the mini mini golf course live from mini golf hole three. It looks like Carissa's going to get a par. Clint's bogey in this bad boy. And he's kind of <laughs> pissed. <laughs> he's 
I think Clint's crying a little bit. All right. What's your, do you want to, let's stay in the favorites. Let's just finish the okay. favorites up. What do you got? The next one I have, not for a good first date because it's like too intimate, but once you're <laughs> further in, a movie marathon and a spa night together. Um, okay. So movie, mar movie marathon was on my alternate, it was on my runner up list. So I like that. Okay. Idea. So, Okay, so movie marathon because people love getting lost in stories together. Okay. Opportunities to snuggle. You're resting. You get to chat about the movie if you want to. Spa night because you're like taking care of each other and that releases oxytocin and dopamine. So it's bonding mm -hmm. and it's just pleasant and nurturing. All right. So let's let's talk this through because if, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, I think they said pick everybody. Like you pick a movie, then I pick a movie, right? Isn't that what it was saying? Like oh, we did alternate it? Movie? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. So, so we're going to go basically from, you know, Sleepless in Seattle to Terminator. I, I don't like doing. any of the Sleepless in okay. Seattle stuff. I'm just, I would be more of a Terminator girl. Okay, that's good. So I like action movies. Snuggle up to the Terminator movies. That's oh, look at that's that's great. He's killing the he's crushing the skulls with his feet. Now, <laughs> let me ask you about the spa part. We could hang out with our swords. <laughs> yeah, why not? We've already talked about it. We've 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 got kids that are dying in the field. Thirty-seven. Yeah. So let me ask you the question wow. though. Yes. Here we go. Spa night. If you're doing the movie in the spa, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's a foot rub or hand rub, right? Okay. Probably some skincare, facial, head okay. massage. Okay. Yes. Who yes. goes first on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it depends on energy level. Okay. All right, because because I got to be honest. If you're in, if you're not good at trading off who goes first, <laughs> then whoever goes first every time is all, or whoever you know is always thinking, or whoever goes last is always thinking. I don't really get to enjoy this because I don't want it to stop. And as soon as it stops, I've got to start. Mm, I don't and, think that's always true. Okay, but I think you're revealing your own. Yeah, your own oh, I totally am. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about that. I don't mind giving the massage. I just want to go last. Um. Fair. I like your idea. I like your idea. Thanks. Your turn, um, sir. Yeah. All right. This is going to sound a little cheesy. I like stargazing. I if there's a real that one, if there's a really good place to go, I would <clears> even <throat> they they had stargazing and then going like to a planetarium where you can see. I like that for a lot of, again the same reasons. You get to relax. You're going to find not many of mine are like, you know, we're not going to. We're not battling or anything. I, I like the stargazing thing. I think okay. it's very relaxing. It can be romantic. Mm -hmm. It's very chill. And it's very, it's also the longer you stargaze, the more you see. It's beautiful. I think it, oh, did you see that? Oh, I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? I think as long as you, let's see. Uh, Ashton says, as outdoor stargazing, as long as there's not bugs. And right. I agree with her. Again, any of mine are preempted with weather. If it's can it be Can it be in the bed of a pickup truck listening to country with a makeout session? At, well, <laughs> yeah, but we just, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's how my stargazing ends up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, well, I mean, I don't know. Bed of a pickup truck. I like that. I used to have one of those. But to be honest, you can have a makeout <laughs> session on the blanket on the ground too. I just want you to know. Oh, yeah, you don't see, always have to have a truck. That might thinking be thinking outside the box, Clint. I'm a big thinking thinker. outside. <laughs> big brain, <laughs> big brain, right here. Cheers. All right, your turn. What you got? Um, I said beach day, lake day, or boat day. Something with water and water mm. wreck. Oh, oh, yeah, mountain man who's Irish as the day is long and oh, fair Jesus. skin. Yes, I choose water wreck and water play. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spring and fall, I love creeks and whitewater rafting. Those are fine. Okay. Anything else in the sun, I am pale. You roll me in paste, stick me in sand <laughs> and sun, I am 30 minutes away from being a total asshole. I am... <laughs> I am like, where's Clint? He's under the umbrella. How happy is he? <laughs> not. He's doing shots of Jameson. He's not. I, 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 yeah, because yes. yeah, then you pass out with in great tan lines. Remove the umbrella. I'll cover half my face. <laughs> yeah. So I don't mind water. I'm not a water. And then you're like I'm not, strawberry and vanilla. <laughs> yeah, at Neapolitan ice cream. That's great. That's That's not weird at all going into work. So, so are you a boat person on a date now? Yeah. Okay. See, I'm. I, well, I don't like okay. not being able to leave. No. Here. Well, this is. I didn't say. Okay. So I grew up on the Great Lakes, and I grew okay. up in Michigan. 
Gina, it's sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what, but it makes everything stick to you. Like, no, it yeah, makes it you smell amazing. It makes you smell like you coconut. You smell like pina colada. I mean, who doesn't love that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh -huh. Yeah. I feel like it's pizza sandpaper. <laughs> Can we go back to stargazing in the back of the truck? That was way better. <laughs> yeah, as long as there's like Tropicana sunscreen or whatever. I'll throw, I, yeah. It's car freshener. It's what's hanging on the mirror. What kind of, I'm a redneck in East Ridge. What are you talking about? That's, <laughs> well, I come from the Great Lakes state, so we do water all year round. Okay. So I appreciate a good boat ex adventure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay I'm, to, your, I'm, your yeah, I'm done with water. I'm trying to go. All your right. turn. <laughs> so this one, again, I'm going to uh, kind of preface it going to be what time of year it is. Spring and fall, summer, I got to be honest, probably not happen unless it's late. Okay. I like a good, a good <clears throat> picnic. I think it's good. And if we throw some fishing in there, I think that'd be okay too. Do a little tell me fishing. What, little tell me why you like a good picnic. Well, you got food. Again, conversation. You're outdoors, especially spring and fall. Again, no boat. And... Here's another, I, I'm not getting up and down off the ground easy. There's got to be a table. We're doing a picnic table. You bring just a blanket. I don't sit Indian style. I got one hip that has to be straight <laughs> the whole time because it doesn't bend. I'm going to make noises getting up. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, oh. I, is this, is, are there picnic kits for men after 50? <laughs> yeah. It's got, again, you know what? I think I'm going to have to go back and buy my truck back because I think that would be a great picnic. You sit on the tailgate and have the picnic. Fish, mm. back it up. What we used to do is back it up to the pond or the, or the river. Mm -hmm. Fish off the tailgate. Have mm -hmm. your picnic. Pull the tailgate up. Picnic. Now, picnic. picnic. And then, picnic. then you got your stargazing later that night. That's a date right there. Do you like putting the picnic basket together? Because I hate doing yeah, all the food. That's, for, no. That's so easy. That's mm -hmm. called takeout. Picnic basket, Kentucky fried chicken, <laughs> oh drinks. God. What the hell? Maybe some, you know, we make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What do we picnic at the outdoor movie theater? Is yes, yes, Gina. I love Gina's outdoor. winning. Gina's winning. <laughs> yeah, I think Gina. you, yeah, I Gina's do like winning. a good outdoor movie. They didn't have that, but a good, they didn't. Mm -mm. Yes, that would be in there. Yeah, that would be in there. All right. Okay. All right. So, my parent, and I want everybody to realize that it was a passing shot, but you did make fun of how I say picnic. So, because you're intentionally mispronouncing it. I'm not intentionally. I don't intentionally do anything with my words. <laughs> pick neck. That's incorrect vowel pronunciation. Okay. Say it for me. Pick neck. The pick. I is short. My kids make fun of me for saying oil and tour as well. Like we took a tour or something, an oil company. And we don't neck. have time for this. You're in Eastridge. I'm sorry. That's go enough. for it. Your turn. <laughs> you're next. You're next. <laughs> uh, trivia night at a bar. <clears throat> Was that on there? Yes. Okay. So can I piggyback? Off? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I got to save the ones I hate. Okay, that could do that, I guess. Trivia is okay. Trivia is a blast because you get to listen to people's answers and figure out, like, I, I personally really love intellect. And so if I can hang with somebody who can answer some questions and answer and, like, be competitive and, like, has a knowledge base, yeah. that's very attractive to me. Oh, good. So you get, so you're doing a little recon. A hundred percent. Is that, a, so is that date? Would be would that be better for a first or second date, like early on in the relationship, kind of as a, okay, we're gonna see if you're worth yeah. date four or yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Does it? What kind of bar are we at? Just a nothing, bar. Nothing too trashy. Mm, okay. Why did you did you need a trashy bar? No, no, no I oh, didn't know what okay. you're. I didn't know what you have in vision. Are you at a? Oh. Are you at like a? You They're know, all like, different. I don't know. Yeah. Nothing that's like obnoxious. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I've got a pick. I've got some written down here. I I think I'm going to go with this one seems a little counterintuitive, <clears> but I think going to a, a concert, I like a concert. Even you don't get to talk much, but maybe a third or fourth date. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good. A first date. I'm not crazy about a concert, but what a kind third, of concert that's again, the, the other, the reason I like this is you get to kind of what you do on the intellect side, you get to pick their brain. Like, Hey, I've got, there's a couple of bands coming into town or nearby the next few weeks, and it's all the way from, you know, Tupac to Garth Brooks to <laughs> – you pick out three different genres that you can kind of right. deal with and go, which one do you want to go? And they go, oh, I hate Garth Brooks. Like, oh, okay, well, you know. I just I think mm -hmm. I like a good concert. Okay. Now, you don't seem really enthused with the concert idea. I love a good concert, but for me, it's not a good place to get to know someone. So that would be like further in. Third or fourth day? Not, mm, further in. 
Okay. When do we go to the gun range? Can uh, that be a first? That was not on here. I want to do gun range first date. No, because they may be psychotic. No. <laughs> no. I got a gun too. Listen, we women, we always have to think about if we're safe. There's no way. According no, to my gun- husband, I need to pay close attention to y'all. Apparently, I suck at date night ideas. <laughs> you do not. I challenge that. I'm sure you're fine. Well, Ashton, ask your husband if he's any better. Ask Gina, him. Axe throwing. Now, I've done axe. I've said this to you before. I did the axe throwing three or four times. And when you go, the first few times, you feel like an angel. Like, oh, this is gooberish. Mm-hmm. By the end of it, you are the Viking killing the zombies coming through the fence. You're like, I think you keep the weapons at bay until you have an accurate portrayal of the human's character. That's so just how, me. how deep into this can we go to the gun ranger axe throwing? How about the Tennessee Valley Railroad for a first date? Oh, I'm not oh, familiar with that. I've been there. Yeah. Is yeah, it? I've been to that. Yeah. My, so they do. The reason I know that is uh, a lot of kids take field trips there, okay. but they have dates and dinner. Or they have like excursions on old rail cars that are built for diners. Oh, and cool. you get to see the Vista, especially during the fall with the colors changing. Oh. It takes you a lot of rail tracks and you can have dinners and stuff like that. Very cool. Very pretty. Good, Good job, idea. Baby. I'm so glad y'all are on here. You're thinking way outside our little bar. just, I'm real. I don't know. I I kind of I'm kind of disappointed. Again, I haven't got an official. What date number can we go to the gun range to throw axes? What where, where are we at? A third date, fifth date, twelfth date? We got to be married. How how soon do you trust me and you with guns? Just depends on who you are. I don't know. Well, okay. Wow. Calm down. <laughs> the fact that you're so demanding about this is already a red flag, Clint. <laughs> Give me my by, guns. By when God, do I need to play with my heavy artillery? We're sh- <laughs> after you go to anger management and have an exorcism. Anyway, listen, listen. A- after we fish off the back uh-huh. of my truck and shoot some cans off the log, we're going to lay back and watch the stars. That's all I know. All right. And if you can't talk picnic correctly, there's no making out. So. <laughs> we'll play some trivia games. <laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your, your turn. T- no, is it my turn or your turn? Uh, I said trivia. You got off oh. on gun range. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said concert. No, we were talking about concert. concert. Uh, vol- ready? Volunteer together. <laughs> <laughs> that is number. That is number three on my hate one. Ah, okay. Well, we're never going on dates, but whatever. <laughs> we're never volunteering together. You can take um, off on your own. I'm not, <laughs> what the hell is that? I like to volunteer. Not... I've got, I help, I try to volunteer at places. You nope. know, I love YCAP. I'm just not going to go, hey, uh, I'd like to get to know you better, but you want to go volunteer? I'm not, it's not, I don't see that as, that's not for me. That's because you're selfish. <laughs> Did that feel good? Yeah. That, it, did, it, did it feel like it you got like some? It felt like target practice. It felt like you got some of the week practice. out of you there. Yes. My face yes. matched Clint's on that one. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> well, no, you know. I, th- I personally love a dude who is servant-hearted. I do, too. I like being servant-hearted. Doesn't mean I want to go on the first date with you. Well, I didn't say first date. And okay. we'll work hard. Oh, so okay. If, if no, I like working. That's that, that's that's a little no, bit of a straw man. My question, do we, go, do we go to volunteer before the gun range? Yes. Okay. Well, no. Hundred percent. Just silly. No volunteer. Right. It's like, are do they have a servant's heart? Do they do teamwork well? Are they considerate? How hard will they work? Uh huh. That's super attractive. Okay. I get. Yeah, I understand that, but not. On, I'm not doing that with a date in the first three or four dates. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. This one's crazy. All right. One more. God darn. I don't. I, I got to pick one. I wrote down four or five more. Um, we don't have to. We can. This is our podcast. I like. Uh, <laughs> I like go karts. Kind of- I like go karts. <sighs> You're so redneck. <laughs> what the hell? It kind of comment is that you're a professional. You have degrees. Oh, you should okay. be better with your and words. My, you're a Christian and you scoffed at volunteering. So yeah, but just on a date. <laughs> yeah. Just on a yeah. date. Yeah. And golf go karts on a date, like yeah, put on well, your little helmet and scoot around a track with rubber tires well, everywhere. Freaking, That's sexy. I'm throwing you straight into the <laughs> guardrails. You know what? It's going to be bumper cars with us. Years on, uh, yes, yes, on go karts. Yes. Yeah. But that's what happens. I guarantee all these folks grew up in Southeast Tennessee. I was going to say they're all Southerners. Yeah. All right. All right. What you got? What's another? Do you have any more favorites on there you want to go through? Because I've got a couple. <laughs> I do. Okay. Let's hear it. Oh, I love that we're naturally building in the criticism of one another. <laughs> I have, uh, <laughs> do you want me to just read them off? 
I, I don't care. Stop with the one. Read them off, but stop at one you kind of like a lot. I've got about three or four more. I think camping would be interesting. Okay. Because you're not necessarily like super put together. You don't have your, like, you can't do all the pretty things. Um, it's uncomfortable. You have to be a team to like put the tent up to do food prep, you know, like stay could comfortable. We can't, could we go camping though in a pool, like in a, like in a pop-up? Instead of a tent. I guess I'm from Michigan and we do tents. We do tents here too, but 55, I don't give a shit if you're in Michigan or Spain. 55 on the ground's a little different than, I than, think than 25. What we're identifying is you and I will not be dating. <laughs> well, I don't mind going camping. Camping could make or break you. Yes. Yes. That's, That's what I'm saying. She's in Wisconsin. She knows. I, I agree. Camping can make or break you. I used yeah. to, I was married for 21 years. We went camping. My, and I love the camping. I'm just saying, let's find a way to compromise and not take the tent, Dave. That's called glamping. No, I didn't say an RV. It's a pop yeah. anyway. Go anyway. canoe the Sequatchie and Dunlap. I love Ooh. you can do you can do nice and slow, slow waterway gives you time to talk, see nature along the way. Wow. Yeah. And the way you said nice and slow is like you know, there's a little sex appeal in there. So I think you and David <laughs> could come up with your own top fifty-two. <laughs> lists hiking bicycling playing darts play pool good lord Jeannie, you should write an article you've got really good <laughs> ideas we should true camping is tense hey i understand what true camping is but true camping <laughs> only works when you have true hips and true <laughs> backs oh my god the love of god for the one of my of hips god. is metal all right oh, is it really oh yeah i had an artificial hip thir- 12 years ago yeah okay bless it all okay right, your turn you get- no I, I i have uh <laughs> I was say that now I feel like I'm getting judged really bad here. Uh, I you've already been a, judging the I heck think, out of me. I think running a 5K together would be fun. <gasps> yes, I have jogging on mine. I don't know. No, no, uh-uh, <laughs> no. That's, that's <laughs> well, back, how does one train back for up, a 5K? Back up. How? We just train separately. We meet at the 5K. Look, there's Listen. one over. <laughs> that's not ju- okay, so let's just, we've already marked two off my hate list. I, one well, is the that, volunteering, uh-huh. the jogging adventure. <laughs> Who the hell is a jogging adventure? Chattanooga, the Chattanooga Running Club, the Sanderson yes, but Running I'm Club. I'm talking about a date. That's like if me and you, you are. You know dating how many and, people have met as a result of running yes, together? A lot. I, I, I get it. I, I get it. Georgia Winery for a wine tasting. He's I've winning. Done, I've done David. the Georgia Winery. It's okay. It's okay. I've not, but David's killing no. it. I'm really impressed, David. Um. Okay, so I had the 5K. What's yours? What's another good well, one you like? Well, they didn't have this, but train for a sprint try together. Oh, like a um, sprint triathlon. I used to do sprint triathlons in my late oh, 20s. Yeah. And that's like fun. Like you're going to swim in open water in the pool. You're biking. You're running. You're recovering together. Let's go grab IHOP pancakes for calories. It's okay. Fun. Now I'm with you on that. I see the point. Yeah. My question is, could you also do the same concept with a Spartan race? Sure. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm That's still why single. I'm single. Yeah. Because you're a cut above the rest. That's what I'm hearing, David. Yeah. <laughs> Gina, yoga class. Yeah. That, I, uh, I've done yoga. Here's my problem with yoga. With your metal I, hip? Yeah. So here's my problem with yoga. I used to be very flexible. And even though, so you go in there and it's not getting into a position. It's when the stupid instructor <sighs> goes, hold. Dude, mm-hmm. I can get in the, the worst. I got a whole no. I can't, I'm I'm snapping right back. I'm because you're fast twitch. Your muscles are fast twitch. Yeah, that fat pulls me right back around. Uh, Clint <laughs> knows. Me. Yes, I do. And your mama you, says you can stomp grapes at the winery yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Float and down Ash- the river on tubes with your drink of choice. That's oh, that's a good Fourth of July one. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. good. Are you sure? Because there's sun involved in sunscreen. That's the, exactly where my brain was going. Through. I know. But, I could tell you, you went, the, eh, eh. You got the cool river. I could just roll off in the lazy <laughs> river and kind of float down like an otter until I want to get back. Or on a the, manatee. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? You made me a lot bigger than an otter. I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of your comparison <laughs> to a manatee. Well, proportionally, you're more like a manatee <laughs> than an otter. <laughs> well, okay. Well, thank you for being true to proportion here in front of people. I like that. Or a walrus, maybe. Maybe more like a, a walrus plant. <laughs> She's a, I thought it was a cute little otter, and you're like, or a manatee. You, you know, know those giant walruses that are furry and they, they have to run like this, Clint? Maybe that'd be more your style. What the hell? The I, just, 
<laughs> you just, you know what? I don't, I gotta be honest. I don't think the reason you don't want to go out with me is because I don't like your stupid date volunteers. It's because who's, who's with the walrus over here? It's not me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel totally, this is ridiculous. Oh this is a bad idea. I feel, a commercial. My, I've been emasculated. This is, this is emasculation right here. A cooking uh, class. Uh, uh, this uh, makes for a great God. laugh at the end of the day. Well, good. I I'm glad. Cause you know, uh, manatees only have three percent body fat. Okay, yeah, that, way to go. I see what you're doing. <laughs> you're my, you, you're trying to protect my the frail male ego. I'm good. good. The sea cow I'm is good. completely. I'm completely good. I'm completely good. Just, just, I just that's the kind of noise I make. No one you want to go camping. Well, I got a bigger tent. I'm bringing a walrus with me. How big of a truck you we'll got, Bubba? The, we'll take the pop up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's got to have room, apparently. <laughs> Good lord! I Just... see my abs hurt. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sweet uh, baby Jesus. Okay. Gina Wilson said a cooking uh, class. I do. Okay. Look, truth be was, told, I think a cooking was... class for a date is a great idea. I thought it was one of my worst. Okay, sweet and savory. I've done those before. I've done not as it well. I've done one date, but I did. I've taken my kids there a couple times, and I love, I love, I love that idea. I think cooking together is fun because manatees love to eat. Absolutely, and, <laughs> and more than raw fish. We like our stuff cooked every now and then. Oh my gosh, I okay. hate that idea because I hate cooking mm -hmm. but also then it gets into like control issues and then like if person like i've i've tried to cook with guys who are like controlling and they're let me finish yo and so speaking of controlling <laughs> so like i've been trying to cook with guys <laughs> that have control issues and when they start bossing you around it just goes south really fast and you're like this is already stressful the dynamic is oh can you hear me yeah what? okay yeah um mm -hmm. Yeah, my speakers just said something funny. So, yeah, I anyways, know. I'm not a fan of that idea, but I'm okay. glad. I maybe yeah. you've cooked with the wrong people. I think cooking can be fun. I think it's it's supposed to be it's supposed to be kind of fun. But anyway, okay. Um, remember, remember, no one in our family of 37 children cooks. We just all hunt. But we eat raw meat. Yeah, like we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you got another good one? Uh, I'm more. I'm afraid now. Uh, no, don't oh. be afraid. We're good. Stand up comedy. Well, yeah, okay, I can take a lead that one. That's not bad. I think if you pick the right comedian, laughing together is hilariously yes. bonding. Yeah, yeah. And you get to see what they're what what if Makes they're yeah because mm -hmm. some of the stuff they're like yeah I I, I kind of like that idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Okay. Mm, okay. What you uh, got? Mm, I've got four more. Okay, I, I like mountain biking a little bit. I do kind of like that a little bit. I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, they had going to a sports like a college game. Mm -hmm. Who can do a college? Where are you getting tickets to a college game and a game going to a game for under fifty bucks? Once you got oh. tickets and food, you're not doing that one. Right. I don't mind that okay. one. I do mind. I don't mind board games. Okay. So if you go camping, you play some of those little camping board games. That's uh -huh. fun. Okay. Um, and then I guess my last one is paintball. I think paintball would be kind of fun. That is one of my worst ones. Okay, good. Good. Hilarious. Yeah. Right. So what what are good ones do you have? What other good ones do you okay, have? Okay, I had kayaking, mm -hmm. jogging, which got shot down, camping, stand up comedy, take a class together and visit local art or art museums or art institutes. Love the art museum one. I think mm -hmm. that is killer. Yeah. I like that. Why do you How like it? Uh, because of kind of what you were, how you started this whole thing off and I was doing the mini golf, but you actually went to the zoo. Uh -huh. It gives you stuff to talk about. Like, I don't get that piece or I like this piece mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get you something. Usually most of those places have drinks you can get mm -hmm. and hors d'oeuvres mm -hmm. or something. So it's, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a cool. And usually around those places, there's other things to do too. Like here in Chattanooga, there's a walkway. Yeah. So yeah. it entails, it's not just that there's scenery and vistas. So I like that one a lot. Cool. And plus. If you go to the right one you can see some really cool shit I, i'm wow. an art guy i love art some cool shit yeah it can, it can cool shit listen to, to is that what eastridge cool is that what eastridge says about art yeah that's it's cool shit. i mean you can you can you can use a more of a word salad and you know up your game if you want to but at the end of the day when someone goes oh look at their brush strokes and the contrast of colors you know what they're saying that's some cool shit actually they're not but they are nice. okay you know uh, what you know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Let's let's lead with your worst. 
I think well, we've already done it, but go ahead. No, no, we haven't. I got a bunch. So <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's the worst ever. Okay. I don't care if you're married or not married. And, and relationship, this is just Clint. Do <laughs> not ever in the history of mankind, whether I live to tomorrow or for uh, another 50 years, say, hey, okay. Clint, do you want to go get a tandem bicycle? No, <gasps> I don't. That was on mine too. Tell me that's about that. That's the shit. That's the dumbest idea for a rela- If you want to have an immediate annulment of any yes. relationship, yes. Put me on a bike with, I love my <laughs> mom. Put me on a bike with anybody. <laughs> God could come down and ride the bike. Like, Look, you just drive, dude. I ain't even doing nothing. This is ridiculous. Let's go deeper with that, Clint. I think that's what God's <laughs> trying to do anyway. <laughs> Tell me more about that. I bet he would let me shoot my guns, but go ahead. <laughs> go listen to live America. music. America. America. Right. So I've done the the uh-huh. Uduwa Commons and Ross's Landing. I'm not crazy about going down to Ross's Landing. I just, I'm not crazy about big crowds, but the Commons is not bad. I've been up there a couple of times. It's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you don't do the tandem bike either. Me and you are in agreement. Oh, no, that was immediately like, that's a terrible idea. It's terrible. No, you feel stuck. You can't. Con- it's like a control power thing. It's just who's gonna bad. sit up front? Yeah, it's bad. And if I'm in back, your backside's right here, and then I'm like just at your mercy, and it's just oh, uh, who's gonna dismount first? What if you no. wreck? Are you gonna blame each other? That's just ridiculous. It's a terrible idea. It is. I I, I don't even know the purpose of tandem bikes. To me, to be honest with you, I think it's one uh-huh. of the worst inventions. Nuclear bombs and tandem bikes and Just, mosquitoes. It's like all in the same. Yeah, I get. It. All right, what do you got? Karaoke. Oh, that's my number two. <gasps> I can't stand the idea of. I know some people who love it. I to me it sounds humiliating, and that's it. I just don't want to be humiliated. Have humiliated you ever done it? Date. Yes, but there was uh, central nervous system depressants involved in the form of liquid. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, you were drinking. Yes, very good. Yeah, very good. That was yeah, trivia. Dumb it down. Trivia. I was trivia night. Down. I was testing you. Nah, I passed. So, <laughs> the, so I have done karaoke once uh-huh. as well, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and um, I I I just am not a fan of karaoke, and I yep. too have friends that just they're there every time it's open. They love singing, and they're pretty <clears> good at it. Yeah, but I, I I I don't I don't go to bars to hear you sing. The other thing is you have to, this is going to sound like such a jerk thing, but I'm just being forthright. You have to listen to everyone else who's off pitch and off key, belt it out, and then just sit there and tolerate it. And then act like it's okay. And then like kind of pity clap when you could be at a concert. (laughs) Stargazing. Your stargazing was way better than, yeah. I'd go To George George Strait or Morgan Wallen, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that uh, that's yours, and I, I did the tandem. You did karaoke. I'm gonna. Well, I've already covered the volunteering. I think that's terrible. Um, wow! The wow! Jog, the jogging adventure is terrible. All right, hold on. Oh, holy smokes! Yeah, is here's this my like clay one. pigeon shooting. Pull. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we've already <laughs> talked about those. I'm just going through them. So, uh-huh. I did tandem. You did karaoke. It's my turn. Here it is. You ready for this one? Go ahead. The library. Yes. No, what on thank earth? you. I knew we would both be like, "What are you even thinking?" <laughs> if you called me up, library, and, and said, "Hey, Clint, what are you doing Saturday?" Oh, I'm nothing. Hey, nothing. Would you want to go out? You know what, Chris? Yeah. I'd love to. Do you want to go to the library? Are we working on a project? Do is there, Do you have a, something due for class? No, I don't want to go to the library. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't even, it's like, unless you're Belle and the Beast and you're in the West Wing, (laughs) there ain't no business hanging out at the library together. (laughs) In the library. I love reading, but the library is a terrible date idea. Yeah. Go to a bookstore. So for Ashton to acknowledge this, and no, she loves reading. I love reading too. I go to a bookstore. Now, I I have done bookstores like like those old, if you're in a certain part of like a a certain little town and they've got Uh a little bookstore there and you go get books together, you want to go search. That's a, Mm -hmm. that's an afternoon shopping thing. Let's go in this old bookstore. If we find some books, Mm -hmm. let's go get coffee and read for a little bit. That's different than let's go to the library. Do you want to take, I want to sing Disney right now is what I want to do. I do not want (laughs) to sing Disney. All right. What do you got? Um, hot air balloon ride. I'm with you. It's not on my list. You're but... trapped. There are heights. It's uh, hot. I mean, there's so many things that could go wrong. 
Yeah, if I'm going to the library, leave me alone. Don't try to talk to me there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you look. So you to look, her point, you look pretty tonight. Shh. Exactly. Exactly. So then you go to the. Did you ever watch the old Keenan and Kel on Nickelodeon? Did you no, ever I'm, see any of that? You remember I'm older than you. No. Well, right. I just. I don't yeah. Know. Anyways, there was this I'm whole like thing. I'm a lot older than you, so no. Okay. Well, anyways, there was this Keenan and Kel thing on Nickelodeon back in the day. It was like the teenage night, like later in the evening, not for kids. Mm-hmm. And there was always this no yelling in the library oh. because they would like try to like talk and be human, and the yeah. librarian was always a monster. Never That's fails. the way they have those. They have the reputation. The library. They yeah. the librarian is always telling everybody to be quiet. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't I can't give my game if I gotta be quiet. I gotta be able to talk. <laughs> and clearly your talking has so much game. <laughs> yeah, that's cool shit. Oh uh, anyways. Uh, okay, here's another one. Oh yep. No, I said library, your turn. Um, I said paintballing was a terrible idea. If there's yeah. one way to piss me off faster than fast, it's get competitive and inflict physical pain. Just kill you early, and that pisses you it, off. I anytime I have physical pain, I immediately have a fight response. And then if I think you're laughing about causing me physical pain, <laughs> I'm not joking. I would so be laughing at you. Oh my I, god! And it would be done. I would leave. I would <sighs> Uber. I would leave you there. I'd let you Uber. It would make me so mad. It would just ruin. Yeah, because dudes get off on like it's gonna be so funny to pelt the bleak uh, bleh, 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 out of you. I don't so really think I would do that. I I, I disagree. Yeah. Paintball just reminds me of middle school youth group. Totally. Like grow up a 12 year old. Yeah. Hey, why don't we go play dodgeball next? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. Let me see if I can pelt you in the face. No. <laughs> free no. Th- free throw line to free throw line. Um, <coughs> all right. <clears throat> I did not like this idea. It, well, I say I didn't like this idea. It's one of those ideas that if you're talking about it on a first couple of dates, I don't like it at all. I don't understand why it was there. But if you've been married or you're in a relationship for a shopping spree, a shopping yes. trip, I didn't understand that one. I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, go to the top of the Raccoon Mountain Reservoir, walk to the trails. Yeah, I've been there, and that's really cool. And if it depends, again, what time of year. And if you go the fall, the freaking views are st- just stupid nice there. Nice. They're really nice. good. Nice. Um, I am, I'm just not a fan of a shopping. That's not to me mm. a date. I mean, that may be a trip you're taking. We're going to do mm-hmm. some shopping, but are you mm-hmm. a shopping spree? That's a date. Um, could be like a okay. day date. Okay. Like, Hey, let's meet at the mall and we'll go pick yeah. out some things. Yeah. That's fun. I like playing dress up though. I mean, I always have. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There. That's why well, I suck. Your turn. Yeah. Okay. What? Your mm-hmm. turn. We've ca- we've covered all mine. Karaoke. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Bowling. Bowling. Oh, I like bowling. I okay. hate bowling. You're wearing terrible shoes that everyone's feet have been in. That's repulsive. And then and then you're walking up there hoping you don't slide and end up on your backside while somebody's staring at your backside, trying to perform and like get a strike. Go ahead, I dare you to say something. So it's just a bad, vulnerable, unpleasant experience. And it's usually full of cigarette smoke. Not right. anymore. They don't do that. Oh. Yes. Somebody had a bad experience bowling. That's all I can say. I've had a here's lot what of... I hear. So you've walked out of some bowling alley like, <laughs> you know what? Screw you. That's what I hear. <laughs> I'm Ubering. <coughs> no, I just why don't y'all go to the library and hang out? Wow. Um, all right, here's a couple more I had up there. <clears throat> there I yes, haven't David. I haven't bowling shoes or skates are nasty. Yeah, they are. I, I get me. It's, it, we've we've we're, we're, we've made it this far doing it. We're okay. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going skate caving. They had caving on there. Hmm. Okay, uh, I've done walk- that in the, I've done that in the Bahamas. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, walking your pets together. Well, you, Sam just isn't able. But what if you had a young I mean, able? Even what? Even okay. Hey, what are you doing Saturday? You want to go walk the dogs? Yeah, dog park. Go out in the woods. You go out in the woods, so you do it different. Okay, and if you're doing that, I just keep picturing we're going to go walk around the block with the dogs. I'm like, okay. I've, d- I've done that on dates. How about an amusement park? I hate roller coasters. Yeah, I don't mind roller coasters, but the amusement mm-hmm. park usually is the hottest place on earth. Everything mm-hmm. costs seven thousand dollars. It's mm-hmm. the it's just ew, ew, ew. you're eating funnel cakes, which tastes yeah. good at first. Grease. And you're, yeah, you're you're the feeling heat, the nasty. Heat, the heat is homicidal. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of it, you're like, 
do I hug you? No, stay the hell away from me. I'm sweaty and hot. Just get in the car. Damn. Let's go to the cooking class. I don't know why you're single, Clint. I do. I'm happily single, though. The worst bird watching. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like I feel like we are one comment away from mall walking. Let's go play dominoes at Chick Fil A in the mall. Let's put on your big oh thick, your thick white shoes, and we'll do this power walk. Your New Balance, yeah. Your kangaroos. It's <laughs> got the pocket on the side. That's what I, you know. Okay. All right. Uh, how about uh, how about oh my gosh. how about fruit picking? <laughs> Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. I enjoy fruit picking, but that's more like a, a friend thing. Okay. If you're like collecting apples or strawberries or all those kind of things, like, yeah. Okay. They have skiing on here, but I don't know any place on planet Earth you can ski for 50 bucks a day. I just, I've, <clears throat> I've been skiing a couple of times. It, are we water skiing? Are we snow skiing? Are we cross country skiing, downhill skiing? <clears throat> you got to expand your options, Clint. You're too myopic here. Too narrow minded. All of them are going to be more than $50. Get the no, same, not. same different and put the blue cards and red cards together and answer <laughs> questions while have adult beverages. Get the game, same, same. I don't know that game. So, I, okay. It sounds fun, though. Do you know the game? <laughs> <laughs> adult, be adult beverages. She has no idea what the game is. That is the that is the most I'm tired of podcasting comment. You know I don't what? even have my headphones no, on. I'm not what? even listening you know to what you. It is? You I trust David. I trust David. His ideas have been solid. I trust I, I, David. I agree. They're solid ideas, but yes. you just agreed to a game. And there's drinking involved. I'm good. You call me the redneck. You call me say you call me the redneck. I didn't what, say I wasn't. Hey, uh, so what's what, what what about that game do you like, Chris? So I don't know. There's drinking. Oh, <laughs> there's well. liquor. There's live. There's, we're gonna have a good time. Talk. Absolutely, we'll play same, same, different. <laughs> drink, same, same, different. Drink at your picnic. At yeah, your picnic. I I found one on here though, that if you call it a date, I think it's a terrible idea. I think it happens in the course of dating. Okay. I think it happens naturally, but I'm gonna get to it real quick, and I'm gonna read what it is and make sure that I got it right because I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to just, you know, just uh, disperse some of these. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes, Ashton, here we go. you drink while doing anything up north. It's true. That's all we do up north where I'm from. Oh, well, we so, I, okay. All right. I mean, southeasterners get it too. Y'all drink like fish. Yeah. Here we go. You ready for this one? Uh huh. <clears throat> On a first date, uh -huh. they said do this. Have a stuff from home show and tell. What? It's a little bit corny for a first date, but it's a great idea to know your date better. Take yearbooks, pictures, trophies, teddy bears, ballet slippers, anything, and explain it to the date. Um, no, no, that, I, I, no, no. If, if you showed up on a first date with your yearbook, a teddy bear, and a ballet shoes, and I'm <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> it'd be like, well, there's some developmental delay. Okay. What All are we right. doing now? You yeah. know, like you're sitting, you're at the house. Y'all been dating a while, and you're like, "Hold on, is that your yearbook? Yeah, I want to see your yearbook. Show it to. Ah, let me look at the photo mm -hmm. albums. I get all that. First oh. or second dates, I'm bringing stuff from the house. I don't know who's that. It was a terrible idea. It was a it's horrible idea. Somebody who's stuck in the past. That's totally. more like having a garage sale today. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's Hilarious. Like, yeah. Your if you mom. Call it a date. Don't ask to go Dutch. Preach. I've had dudes do that. Have asked me out, and then at the end say, "Well, how about we go Dutch?" Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, there's some date etiquette here. I know. If you ask someone on a date, then don't say it's Dutch. Worst date ever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cheap, lame, never again. End it. I End didn't it. know that was even a thing. I don't think oh, I've ever heard of that. I've never done that in my entire life. I would never Because you're still that. kind of a gentleman, even though you're redneck. I think being a gentleman is part of being a redneck. Thank you very much. A little southern. That is little totally southern inaccurate. Redneck. I don't no. know. I'm trying. I'm just <laughs> no. trying. Are you drinking? Get my, my body armor, soft uh, water. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, don't go. Don't. So have you? you know, you've had that happen. Me? Yeah. Oh you've my had, gosh. Yes. So tacky. So tacky. I had yeah, a guy years ago when I was in grad school. He, I was here in Chattanooga the first time. <laughs> 
and he asked me to breakfast and it was at um i think it was bluegrass grill which is not expensive anyway mm-hmm. and at the end of it he said how about we go dutch and i was like you're uh, okay you're the one who asked i didn't even i was like sure and in my head i'm like never again did he ever ask you out again I, uh i think so and you said no I uh, just g- gently dodged and weaved. Dodged. Did you say, "Hey, meet me at the library." <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> That's meet me. Meet me at the gun range. At the gun. <laughs> Jeannie, yes, I've had it happen at a movie. Oh, oh my god! Bye. So, That's awkward. So you get bye. up to buy the tickets. I'd like one ticket to. That huh? is embarrassing. Yeah. 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 Tacky. All right. I think. The one I did not see on here that I kind of like, and David alluded to, alluded to it, and I wrote it down. I think a short hike to a, a waterfall where you can sit yeah. and talk is a really cool thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I'm not sure you would like it on a first date because you don't know my, somebody's character. What if they're taking you out in the woods and going to leave you? That was your idea about guns. I so. would go to a higher traffic place. Oh, okay. I'd go to a place where I knew it was higher traffic. Like maybe a through. Cloudland Canyon or something mm-hmm. like that, where mm-hmm. you know there's or the blue be a hole. Of, yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the hike and the waterfall. I do too. Uh, totally. Anything we miss? Anything you want to add? We've been at it about 53 minutes. I think it's No, I think this was just fun to banter and shred each other. So can we have a date where we just sit and shred each other and banter? <laughs> That's, Is that an option? Just did. Well, we've we been, could, you know what we could do? No. Nah. We could podcast together as a date. And yeah. just, do we make fun of the audience? I mean, the people around us? We just make that fun of each fun. other oh, and ideas like we did tonight. We've done that before, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we'll just take the yeah, because here's the rule though. Every 15 minutes you have to have a drink. Isn't that what this is? Ha, ha, exactly. Not yeah, the drinks. We're not we're not having if this would have gone a completely different direction. <laughs> oh my gosh. Up first. I would have been fired. You would have you would have had to go in a different line of work. You'd be like, yeah, people would be um, like, This is not a professional. Why is no she man. calling Clint those names? Hmm. Why is he sure you're such a victim? You're such oh, a victim. <laughs> you're so sad. Come in here, Sam. My dog loves me. <laughs> damn it. Rhett loves me. You Dead got two it. dogs, though. You got two I dogs. Do. I do. Um, all right. Tell everybody uh the podcast. Was it Optimize You podcast you were just on? Yes. So Josh Porter. Okay. Well, it's released in two Mondays. So not okay. this upcoming Monday, but the following, the week of the 20th. Um, yes. Yeah, so we met yesterday and podcasted for about an hour about hormones, sex, a little bit about sex therapy and what could, what kind of is included in that human sexuality, overall health relationships, trends that we're seeing and all of the above. And we really kind of did like a 30,000 foot view. And we talked about like branching off and doing other pa- podcasts in the future. Cause there's honestly so much to talk about, but that'll be all, <clears throat> that'll be out on the optimized you know it better than I do. It's Optimize You Podcast. You can, yeah. He is a sponsor of, he was the spon- one of the sponsors of this podcast. And he, would you, were you on there with Optimized Mandy? Optimized Health. Optimized yes. Health. Were you on there with yeah. Mandy Livingston? Yes. Girls? That was the first awesome. time I met Mandy. She was so fun. They are awesome. Yeah. So that'll be out in two weeks. And we're excited to be able to talk about hormones. Like we talked, for example, about like testosterone. He said the average 40 year old male now their testosterone levels are 20% lower than the average 40 year old male in the past used to be in the previous generation. And that's so significant. That's a fifth. So we we talked about that and like erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, what we're seeing with in men and women right now. It's yeah. We're a lot of times though, me and you have talked about it on podcasts and I've had Josh on several times. He's like I said, a good sponsor. Yeah. A lot of times when you're in a relationship, especially any length of term, like, you know, one year, you know, however long it is, mm-hmm. we just don't, we don't include check my hormones when things start going south, mm-hmm. whether mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. you may not have erectile dysfunction and it mm-hmm. may be a woman thing. It may be a guy thing. It mm-hmm. just may be something's changed in your body, your mind, your energy. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we will try everything. We'll try pills. We'll try exercising more. Mm-hmm. We'll try and prayer. All that stuff's great. You should do all that. And prayer. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. a lot of times we don't think, you know, let me go see if there's a medical <clears throat> hormonal reason Yes. That I am because bodies change over time and they can change without a warning. You don't have to have mm-hmm. a, like a traumatic event. Um, so I encourage everybody to call you mm-hmm. if they need marriage or uh, marriage or sex therapy. And then I also mm-hmm. recommend people go see Optimize You. If you do go Optimize You, if you tell them you heard about them during the break, you get a discount on your initial blood work. Same thing with me. If, 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 I, send, if I send people, they'll give them a discount. Yeah. So. 
So there you go. Tell use you, us. Use yeah, us, t- people. Please. Mm-hmm. And then get your hormones checked. Totally. Your hormones. And then go go see Carissa. Set an appointment up with Carissa. Your hormones. And then log on to Clint's during the break podcast for date ideas. Date ideas. That's cool shit. All right. The, wow. All right. Wow. That was a little bad. That was a little bad. Hey, Carissa. <laughs> hey, Clint. Thank you for doing this tonight. Thank you. It was hilarious. And thank you to each of you that tuned in and chimed in and gave ideas because I think some of their ideas were better than anything we read in the article. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank Those you for everybody. So good. Yeah, we appreciate it. We'll do another one in another month or so. Okay, we'll call it Manatee versus Walrus. What are we going to say? Listen, you I'm, son I'm, of a. What are we going to say? No, I'm going to go downstairs and work out for the third time today. I'm trying to. Get down to the otter level again. Gina, a good laugh tonight, too. Thank you, Gina. We appreciate it. Uh, Carissa K., you're a badass. I hope you have a great day. You're a badass. Love you. Thank you. Bye. I love y'all. Chris, look at you being sweet at the end of this. Bye, everybody. Bye.